Hello everybody, this is TT Lemon. Today I have a redstone pill design for you. This is a improved version of what Admiral Redstone made because it's clockless, which means it doesn't have any lag when it's turned on. And that's done using a bit of a trick down there, which I think was first done by a guy on the Redblock server called Nemma Nemma, or however you say that, I think. Um, he was the first guy I saw to do it, but the Gunmaster also showed it in a video, and I'll just link everyone down in the description so you can have a see what other people have made. But anyway, here's my design. We're going to flick it up, and it turns on. We're going to pull the lever down, and it turns off. And you can see, in this state, there's no clocks running at the top here. And I'm going to pull it up. Still no clocks running. And you can see I've just got a bit of edge of redstone around here for the um, lamp, so just so you can see what's happening easier. And I'm going to strip all this back and show you how it's done. So this is all the redstone that's needed for the bottom part. It's just a torch block which you input into, drop a hopper and a comparator. And so the way you manage to make this clockless is what you do is to turn it on. I'm going to let this lever go. And it's not going to this is already powered, so this is going to happen to it. And this torch is going to come on, which pushes the pillar up one block, which brings the redstone block up to this repeater, which is going to be my output. And I've got that on four, which just smooths the output on the closing, falling edge, which you'll see why that's needed in a minute. But anyway, this is all that happens. That just gets pushed up, and your output comes out. And now, the clever part about this is, I'm going to pull this lever down, torch will drop off and then this comparator is going to fire and then push the column up what even further at one more block which is going to put it into the position here which actually if I can well, remove that bit of redstone there I can do that you can see it gets pushed up you still can't see anything visible from down here and it's going to push the redstone block up into this position and then we can use that to fire a double extender here so it's just going to push this block here and then push this piston down then it's going to push that piston to here where it's going to be powered by this block through this repeater so I'm going to put my redstone down that's all that happens it's a very simple concept but it's quite ingenuitive or however you'd say that see so it works like that and I don't think you really need a tutorial for it the bottom's very simple you just need to remember just put one item in here that's, and make sure this hopper is facing down into the dropper which should be facing upwards like that you can't have the um, hopper facing off that way otherwise it won't reset itself and for the top part up here depending which direction you, you are in you can make the redstone a lot simpler if you, you can just completely remove this layer and just do that but that will only work in some locations so you're better off just doing it the other way so I hope that's a useful concept to you you could use that in quite a few different things I'm sure if you've got a base with some pillars so then you've got lights up in your ceiling and you don't want any ugly redstone torch towers or something go up, going up you can use this system to get that job done so leave it a like if you so leave this video a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already and you want to see more of my future content. Thank you for watching. This has been TD Lemon.